Write a captivating resume like the professionals. My name is Nanette Kirk and I am excited to be the facilitator of this course. Writing your resume building content. Again, we'll start with the meat of the resume first by going over how to write impactful responsibility and accomplishment statements. In this lecture, we'll actually cover accomplishment statements. Previously, we discussed that for each job experience, responsibilities and accomplishments should be listed separately. We also discussed responsibility statements and how to build them. Now we'll focus on the accomplishment statement. What exactly is an accomplishment statement? An accomplishment statement is a statement that provides an action and result of a problem you solved for the company. It is different from a responsibility statement in that it details key accomplishments and answers the questions what, how, and results. Includes metrics that emphasizes that the action was performed and should include keywords that match position requirements. Let's look at an example of an accomplishment statement for our cashier, Jane. From the list building phase, Jane listed the following action as an accomplishment performed while a cashier for ABCZ Grocery made a closing checklist that shortened 15 step closing from 30 minutes to 15 minutes by combining several of the steps and removing others. From that, she was able to create an example A accomplishment statement. Streamline the register closing process by implementing a closing checklist, reducing closing time from 30 minutes to 15 minutes. Notice one of Jane's word choices, streamlined. Streamlined is also a great action word that denotes a concerted effort and is more engaging than simply using the word made. Next, the word implemented is another engaging action word that suggests that she was being proactive in her efforts. While example A is a great statement, it still appears lengthy. How can we make it more concise? From what we know, Jane actually reduced the process time by 50%. It takes more effort for the reader to mentally compute 30 minutes to 15 minutes versus streamlined the closing process 50%. Now, let's look at example B. Streamline the register closing process 50% by implementing a closing checklist. If you were a hiring manager, which would you prefer? Further into our discussion, we will even go farther in making this accomplishment statement more compelling. Accomplishment statements should answer what, how, and result. A good accomplishment statement always include action verbs. A fantastic accomplishment statement includes metrics. So looking at the example, streamline the register closing process by implementing a closing checklist reducing closing time by 15 minutes from 30 minutes, and streamline the register closing process 50% by implementing a closing checklist. In each of these statements, can you identify the what, how, and result? As we look at the example, streamline the register closing process 50% by implementing a closing checklist, let's try to find out if we have just a good accomplishment statement or a fantastic accomplishment statement. So let's answer the question, the what, how, and the result. So in this statement, the what was streamline the register closing process. The how was implementing a closing checklist, and then what was the result? Reduce closing process time by 50%. Remember, a good accomplished statement always includes the action verbs, which we see the streamlined, and a fantastic accomplished statement includes metrics, which was the 50%. So I would say that this is a fantastic accomplishment statement. In review, we agree that Example B is a stronger accomplishment statement than Example A, though both are acceptable. But what if we could make it even better? We find that Jane could go even further with her metrics by calculating the dollars her new process saved annually. Let's say she made $9 an hour and she averaged 40 hours per week. 
working eight hours, five days per week. She was able to save 15 minutes per day or one hour and 15 minutes per week. In one year, she saved 0.75 hours by 52 weeks equal 39 hours annually or a savings of $351 per year. Now, additional information is that the new process was adopted for all of the cashiers in the store, which is a total of eight, which now equals 39 hours times eight equal 312 hours or $2,808 saved annually. Now, let's go even further and say that the company adopted this process for all five of its stores, which also have eight cashiers, which now equals 1,560 hours or $14,000 annually. Let's write this in the accomplishment statement. This example demonstrates the impact and cost savings you can realize in any position if you have the right information. We'll go to example C. So streamline the register closing process 50% by implementing a closing checklist resulting in incremental annual cost savings of $14,000. This example again demonstrates the impact and cost savings you can realize in any position if you have the right information. If you were the hiring manager, which statement would now get your attention? A, B, or C? Which accomplishment statement of the three is most impactful? The snapshot provides an example of how a responsibility statement and accomplishment statement will appear on the final resume. Notice the separation which provides easy reference for recruiters and hiring managers to locate targeted information in your resume.